Hello everybody, this is Dave the Rave Roving the Rock here and today I'm in the centre of Whiting Bay just uh, beside the putting green looking out to sea, the sea's at high tide and just for your bearings, that's the centre of Whiting Bay there with all the businesses um, the shore, the chemist, post office, the craft and wool shop and uh, Marriott's as well and if I come back round, the reason I'm actually filming today is because I was speaking to a man from that white van behind the tree there and he said that they are the demolition um, experts and they're here to demolish uh, this building this week. It's going to take them all week to do it. And people who have lived here for a long time will remember this fondly as Greater X's grocery store and it hasn't been a grocery store for several decades actually. Bill Greatorex died a few decades ago and that just left um, Irene uh, Greatorex living there on her own. Uh, she lived to the age of 100 and um, over the years of course the, the house fell into some disrepair as you can see. In fact um, the windows at this side, one of them has just fallen in. Um, and it looks quite rotten at the back. There's a window boarded up there as well. Uh, it's a big plot. It goes all all the way back to the, the trees there. There's a big steep bank in behind. And this has been uh, bought, and sold and bought, and uh, the people that have bought it have got planned permission to build um, quite a grand house much further back in the plot over there, set back from the road. So we'll wait and see what that looks like. Um, I'll just come down and have a look at the, the building from the front. So as I say, it's going to take them all week to demolish it, but by the end of the week it will be gone. So this is just a record of what was here really. This would have been quite a grand building when it was built. Um, art, art Deco kind of building. Uh, nice big deep eaves. And the glass above the door and the top window as well. It would have been really very pretty. Um, but that was a long time ago. It would have been maybe a century ago now. And as you can see, it's quite overgrown. And it's in some ruin inside. Uh, the men were telling me, they'd, obviously it's a long time since it was a shop. They thought it might have been a bed and breakfast or something like that. It's a big building, but it's in a very poor state of repair anyway um, so not really a surprise that it's getting uh, knocked down I'll just go around the other side as well since this is our last look there we go And I remember that um, Irene used to stay for her later years just up in that room there. And she didn't leave there, you know. When she had her, she made it to 100 years old. And um, the people in the village had a party uh, just opposite the house uh, in the street there. And there was a bagpiper and they were all cheering and singing her happy birthday in the street. And um, she came to the window and she could see everybody from her window there, which was nice. And she got her letter from the Queen at that time, um, Queen Elizabeth II. And there we go. The last look at Greater X's. And we'll wait and see what does get built much further back. Up there somewhere. Hello everybody, Dave the Rave Roving the Rock again. I'm back again a couple of weeks later um, from the time I filmed Greater X's house right before it was demolished and um, now it's been knocked down. It's been hoarded off as well. There we go, just the palm trees really standing at the front and a big pile of rubble where the house used to be. To show you where I am, Whiting Bay Main Road, and uh, 
putting green to the left and the Scotland flag. There we go, I'll get a closer look. This is me roughly standing in the same place as I was before the house was knocked down. As you can see, quite a few changes. There's the machine that's done the damage. If that's what you could call it. And there's the house in bits. Reduced to rubble. All the timber up at the back. There was a large timber extension at the back, so that's possibly what that was. I can see the ground goes right back to the fence at the back. There. And the new house is just going to be back there, right up at the back. Where those beams are. There we go. Wait and see what gets built, but that's what Greater X's house has ended up looking like before it's cleared. Dave the Rave roving the rock over and out.